What is going on fellow outlaws outlaw Gary here and in this video we are now showcasing the best outfits in Red Dead Online. Now this would not be possible without some amazing models that I've recruited in my lobby to make this happen. Now let's take a look at the map real quick to see what we're working with here. As you guys can see we got a lot of people that came out so big thanks to all the amazing viewers uh, come out to all these open lobbies and uh we have about 27 26 people in our lobby so that's not too bad uh there were a lot of people when we first joined it was actually a 21 uh person lobby when i joined and everyone joined me so right here are all our lovely models so big thanks to all of you guys that have come out they were doing a fashion show showcasing some of the best creations you guys have come up with and in the comment section you guys will decide who the winner is we'll keep track by letting you guys know each player has a number and that player will have to stay in that order throughout this entire thing to know who won so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to organize but i think we can do it and the best way to make this happen is downstairs via the staircase in this mansion so i'm gonna go past all these awesome viewers really quickly and you guys just see we're in a beautiful mansion now what's gonna happen is we're gonna have the people that are here lined up on both sides of the stairs and whenever the person's ready to come down and showcase their looks they'll come down this staircase and i'll be down here with you viewers checking out what they look like so each person will come down one by one and once they've come down they are to line up in this room over here with the respective number that they are it's gonna be really difficult to keep track so i'm hoping i can take a picture of each person that comes down to organize the numbers i don't know if it's possible but maybe we'll see what happens regardless you guys can let me know who you think won in the comment section and we'll have some fan favorites so without further ado let's get this organized i want to wish all the contestants the best of luck all right my opinion does not matter that much well it does matter a lot actually because i'm awesome but it's gonna come down to the viewers watching this video to, to decide who wins so without further ado let's get this thing started of course if you're watching on youtube make sure you guys drop the video like subscribe if you're new around here we have a goal to hit 200 000 subscribers before the end of the year we need to get 2,000 subscribers a day and as of like yesterday and the day before we've been getting 4,000 subscribers a day we should be okay but regardless hit that subscribe button and without further ado will the first contestant come down the staircase first up we got d sav d sav looking pretty nice d sav come back you gotta stand here so I can check you out. D Sav is rocking an all black outfit with a gold buckle glun slinger belt. And ooh, look at that. It has a nice little like texture to it as well. And he has his freaking gun with the white pearl grip. He also got some black gloves. He's all blacked out with a white vest and a white floral vest. And look at him showing, showing off his gun. Look at that. All right, D Sav, you're good to go. Next up. Ooh, I could do it like that. Next person. All right, there we go. We got a little system going on. Next up, we got your daddy Porter looking all blue. It looks like he has a blue outfit on with what it appears to be some white and black boots. And look at these upgraded spurs he's got. Dang, dang. Well, they're actually pretty basic in the backside, but this is number two. He's all blue and honestly looking a little bit like John Mark, Arthur Morgan, I should say. And I don't know what's going on, but I think he might be sick. You guys saw that? Something, something might be wrong with it. I don't want to get too close. He's turning around, showing us the back, and oh my goodness, him turning around. He lost me when he turned around, guys. I just realized his blues don't match. That's a big yikes for me, brothers. But regardless, he does have a nice holster, all blacked out, and it's looking real good. All right, that was number two. Next up, we got number three. Trissom coming down. Ooh. Now, this is a very popular look. The red with the black vest. Oh, oh, look at that. Even emoting on the way down to show us how cool he is. Now, earlier, we saw the white pearl grip on the revolver on number one. And this person has as well. But he's changed up a little bit. He has on number one, or on his secondary holster gun, he has the white pearl grip with engravings. That's expensive. And he also has a blacked out. Oh, it's not blacked out. It's actually, I think that's standard. Cattleman's revolver. Now, I believe this is a very, very common look. This is number three's look with the red jacket. And it is, it does have a nice little cape to it. But you, you gotta you gotta check out the dude's shoes, dude. He did a good job with the shoes, matching the shoes with the jacket. I gotta say, pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, next up. 
number four number four is coming on down we got david now david has a, a much different look oh look at him showing off than anyone else we've seen he's rocking the sombrero a very very popular hat over in blackwater and thieves landing now as you guys can see, he is also rocking a blue outfit, but what's different about this outfit is he has a two-tone blue. So as a jacket, he has like a little purple, dark blue. Then he has a light jean blue for his vest and his jeans. And to top it off, he also tried to get the blue on his stirs as well for a little extra, you know, good looks. Now, I got to commend his boots. They are very nice boots. What I would have wished were different with this outfit is the fact that he would have had different colored gloves, but I can see what he was going for. He wanted to match the white gloves with the secondary color of, oh, it's not, I thought it was brown. These stitchings are just dark, darker, like a gray. Ooh, now this is number four. You know what, dudes? I'm liking the look, I'm liking the look. And oh my God, look at that handlebar mustache. Not bad, not bad. All right, David, you're good to go. That was number four, dudes. We got number five, Dirtman coming in. The KFC King himself. Number five is looking straight out of Kentucky Fried Chicken before Kentucky Fried Chicken even was opened. We got ourselves almost an all white outfit. He's got the top jacket with the white hat. Of course, undershirt white as well. Where he changed it up is the pants. He's got the pinstripe pants. And honestly, the pinstripe pants aren't that bad. But I think they're a different color than the black that he's wearing. And I'm not sure if it's difficult for him to get the black uh, vest that he's looking for. But regardless, he's looking pretty good. Let me know what you guys think of Dirtman in the comment section. I believe he was number five. Number five. Number six. We just had a griefer jump in here and shoot me in the back, which hopefully doesn't cause issues. But... Number six is Arjan with a very, very different approach to his outfit. He's got a lot of color combinations going on here. And this is number six. He's got a dark black hat with a green shirt with a red wine red vest. Then like a blue jacket and black pin. You know what? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Arjan was blind because I don't, I don't know what's going on. here. He might be colorblind, guys. I don't know what's going on here. But Arjan, nice attempt. <laughs> <laughs> number seven there we go number seven we got noon himself oh my goodness is this my brother <laughs> it looks like noon at number seven has the same exact outfit i do except he changed it around a bit as you guys can see what's different about his outfit is he has i don't know if he knows how to stand straight he did not buy the full outfit like i have if you guys look at my outfit my outfit is almost identical to his but what's different is I have a white undershirt with a golden bow, and he doesn't have that. He changed it up a little bit. He added some spurs. Ooh, he didn't. He did. He added some uh, accessories to his boots, as well as he's got a, a different undershirt with no black tie. Overall, looking really good. He also has a really nice holster to go for his guns. Gotta say, not bad. I like the red gloves as well. Not bad at all. Well, next up, we got, I guess this will be number eight in theory. This is Flocky at number eight, or known as Denied in Game. Now, Denied is very, very, uh, not bad. I gotta say, like, look, <laughs> strutting his stuff, or her stuff. I don't want to assume their gender now. As you can see, this is one of the more proper outfits we have in game right now. It's an all gray, simple, but super clean. I think out of all the outfits right now, this is one of the more clean outfits that I really like. And it's just easy. It's just super simple. Looks really, really cool. And uh, not bad, not bad at all. So that was number eight. The numbers have gotten all messed up, but number nine, we got McFrisky. It was supposed to be the guy on this side, but he came instead, but it's fine. We got McFrisky looking absolutely freaking crazy. I don't know about you guys, but looking at McFrisky's face, I'm just like, has this guy never slept a day in his life? He looks like he just woke out of bed, like woke out of the, woke up out of his bed with his hair. But regardless, his outfit is what we're judging here. I'm not gonna judge him on his face because he's looking really, really weird up there in the face department, but his outfit is clean. And you know why I know it's clean? Because he even matched his guns with engravings. Holy, he went all out for this fashion showcase, dudes. His pistols are matching his belt buckle. He's got the studs on his shoes. Number nine is looking mighty fine. McFrissy came here to compete, that's for sure. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comment section. Number 10, looks like he left his hat. All right, number 10, we got Loso. Now Loso, I can't tell if he's wearing black or blue 
because of how dark it is in here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my horse real quick and I'm gonna get a lantern. All right, so we figured out Loso's wearing black, not blue with some brown black jeans. Don't really match what he's wearing. And some silver tip boots. You know what? I gotta give it to Loso. He doesn't look terrible. I see what he's going for here and it sort of works. I like it. I like it. I think he's number 10. All right, next up, we got a Z as the number 11. <laughs> and honestly, dudes, ooh, 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 ooh. Dudes, I don't know, you like some of you guys came prepared for this fashion show. Look at this. He's got a blue look going on, but not only does he have this blue look really working for him, he also has his boots to match his jacket and his vest. Not only there, he matched his fur on his jacket with his hat. Not only that, that ribbon on that hat. Oof, look at that, dudes. Honestly, he's looking good. So he's number 11. If you guys like his outfit, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section. And if I don't remember the number, then we'll just go with what the person's wearing. All right, next person's coming on down. Chevrolet boy. Ooh, looking like a straight killer. Look at Chevrolet. Dang, dudes. Some of you guys really, really came out to impress. Chevrolet went over and beyond with this outfit, dudes. He's got the... He's dripping in the red right now. He's got the red hat with the black ribbon. He's got the red jacket that also has a nice little cape to it. He's rocking the very nice secondary holster in red to match his gold revolver with a, like, redwood grip. On top of that, he also has a black main holster to match his golden primary revolver. Also has got the black shoes with the black pants. Man, Chevrolet, number 12, coming in dressed to impress. He did well, he did well. Number 12. Dude, this is, this is some fierce, fierce competition. Like, I let you guys know a few days in advance that we were gonna have this fashion show, and oh my goodness, you guys really did some work. Next up, we got Sarah at number 13, and oh my goodness, what do we have here? Okay. Look at this. Engrave the knife and everything. Now, there's a lot going on here. Terry's looking like a bag of Skittles. We got a worn out green hat with a gold ribbon. We got some very, very peachy cheeks with a very, very like wine red jacket. Now, this jacket looks like it came straight from this rug because they're almost the same color. We got a yellow undershirt, polka dot yellow undershirt with a purple ribbon with green pants and white and blue secondary boots with white gloves. Terry, you've been watching my, my videos here for a bit now. You're in almost every lobby. And you know, I gotta say, I'm not a fan. I am though a huge fan of your guns. I really like the guns on her back. She's got engraved and customized weapons, including her knife. And I believe also her Mauser? No, that's not a Mauser. That's the uh, semi-auto pistol. Looking really good. What I would have changed with this outfit would be the holsters because they look a little worn. But overall, I think you did a great job. It definitely looks like you're balling on a budget. So good stuff. And for some reason, I can't shoot. Did this dude bring a donkey to the fashion show? Uh, you see some really crazy stuff in these fashion shows. Let me tell you. Next up, we got Sylvan. Sylvan is uh Sylvan OG is, is man. Oh, the first person. Oh, 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 watch out. He shot me. He's the first person in this whole fashion showcase to have a bandana or a face mask. So gotta give him credit where credit's due. Right away, you got the black boots with the black pants with the engraved and customized revolver with the white pearl grip. He's got a nice gun belt. I gotta give him that. One thing I don't like about this outfit though is your secondary holster and your primary holster. They don't match. They don't, they don't go along. They don't go well. The secondary holster, I believe he has this one because it's the only one he can currently wear. And once you own it, you can't change it. So I got to give him credit where credit's due. And also, he's got a purple shirt with a black jacket, a nice black hat, and the black face mask. I got to say, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Got to give him where credit's due, you know? Very, very nice. Next up, we got Harold. Harold is the first all-matching female a part of this fashion show. As you guys can see, let me, let me get her to move down here. There you go. As you guys can see, Harold came through with the black lipstick, too, to match. She's got black shoes, some gray striped pants, white jacket, and undershirt with the white customization secondary holster with 
the white pearl grip, of course. And on top of that, she's got black gloves. Oh, a blacked out revolver. So she has a white one and a black one. I see the theme she's going for here. And on her back, she's got a customized shotgun, which... Honestly, we haven't seen a customized shotgun yet in this outfit showcase, so not bad, not bad. Liking what you got here, liking what you got here, Harold. All right, next up. I gotta be honest, I lost track, dude. So hopefully in the comment section, you guys are keeping track. If not, let's just use the names. Next up, we got Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy is looking straight out of Blackwater, looking like he's been working on a farm. But I gotta say, you could tell he put some pomade in his hair before he did this fashion show. He was like, I gotta, <laughs> like, I gotta look good. So, Mac Daddy came with his Sunday best. He's got, uh, it looks like he's wearing some work boots, some work pants. He's got the, the tattered vest and, of course, the blue jean jacket. Oh, I guess primary shirt. And on his back, he's got a shotgun that's not engraved. Honestly, Mac Daddy, not terrible, but not the best. Good stuff. Oh, Kazen coming in with a show. Look at K. All right, so Kazen wanted to really show up. Show up and show out. Coming down the stairs with the lasso. Actually, the first person to do that. Rocking the black shoes with a black skirt. I believe this is the first skirt uh, or dress, I should say, maybe. Is this considered a dress? Not bad. I'm liking it. I think this is a... I don't know girls' clothing. I think it's a, a, considered a skirt because there's no, like, top part. But regardless, with the white primary shirt on the vest, she's got the red with the brown jacket. Dudes, I gotta commend her right here. Look at her hair, right? Her hair, her lipstick, and her hat. All of it flow really nicely with the rest of her outfit. You gotta say that looks nice, dudes. You gotta admit, that looks nice. Freaking Kazen coming in, came down with the little show with the lasso, and really impressed me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. <laughs> and waving goodbye. <laughs> Next up, we got Siren coming on down. I believe Siren is 17, but I could be wrong. Siren is coming in with a low cut, or I guess sleeve cut shirt. Some like crazy eye shot. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, guys. It looks like she got into a fight with her makeup brush. Looking pretty, what are, what are those boots? S Siren, you know what? I'm not here to judge. It's up to you guys in the comment section. Let us know what you think. I got to commend her where she deserves credit. She's got a very nice revolver. And she also customized her bolt action rifle, it looks like. So, you know, not the worst. Not the worst. But, you know, Siren. Siren, you had some time to prepare, Siren. You got to let me know what went wrong in the comment section, Siren. And if it was about money, I get it. But you, you came against a heavy competition for this one. So this should be number 18. Ramish. Now, look at him. Look at him with the lasso. If you guys watch my videos often, he's been in many. And his outfit may seem very familiar to you. As if he had a snake in his boot. Now, listen, guys. I don't know about you, but Ramis really went the extra distance when it comes to fashion in Red Dead Online. He really did his absolute best. He even customized his revolver with the white pearl grip. And, of course, his primary weapons as well. Looking really good. And honestly, dang, Ramesh is, whoo, everyone's whistling. They're liking his outfit. They're liking his outfit. You guys let me know in the comment section. Did Ramesh win this or what? We'll do the next one. I can't let him have all the spotlight, all right? I will say his outfit is very nice, though. Next up, we got Vestrian. Now, Vestrian's looking mighty ill. Like, she's got to eat some. Baby girl, you're about to pass out. She's so hungry. Look at her. Somebody get this girl some food up in here. Now, I believe she's number 19. I'm not sure. I think she's number 19. Number 19 coming in with a very, very unique look for sure. She's got the black hat with the brownish black primary jacket with a white shirt underneath and a yellow golden vest. Sorry, the reason why I'm laughing is because she's... Oh, oh, baby. Holy. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yo, so eat some food. She's about to die, dude. She's about, look at she's like falling asleep in the fashion show. Oh, she's struggling. She's struggling, dude. We're going to hurry this up so she doesn't die on us. Can't be my fault she dies. Next up, we got some pinstripe pants with some very nice white and black boots with some red studded accessories for those boots to match her belt. Not bad at all. I want to make sure she gets going because she's about to pass out. Next up, we got Criminal G1104. Now, guys, honestly, I thought we were I thought we were through all the great looking outfits. For a while, I, I lost a little hope. I was really worried, you know? But Criminal's coming in hot. Like, dang. This outfit's nice. Now, 
He's got the black and red hat with a jacket that matches his hat, vest and undershirt also black with an all black pants, boots, and of course the accessories that match the red hints throughout his outfit. Criminal is coming in looking like a criminal. Just super smooth criminal right here, brothers. I gotta say, I like the outfit. This is gonna be a tough fashion show to win. This is the first one of hopefully many if you guys enjoy it to see who wins it. Look at it, he's like, yeah, hell yeah. So this is Criminal's outfit. I believe he is number one T. If not, just put, put his name in the comment section, Criminal. Oh, he's showing off now, he's showing off. Now we got two more people. We got Giants Rule coming, dang. Yo, Giants Rule is looking clean. He, he looks like he showered up before this. Looks like he just finished picking out his outfit over here. But one thing I gotta say, whoa! Oh, he's ready. That was quick. He's quick. So he's got the white pearl grip revolver with the red gloves that match his vest. Not only that, he also has some red hinted boots, blue jeans, and a white shirt. Now, Giants Rule, if I had to give one comment about your outfit, I would have to say you gotta change up the hat. Not a personal big fan of the hat, but I like the outfit, Giants. I think you did a really clean job. I think there's there has to be a better hat for this outfit. I just don't like how the, the hat folds up in the front. But you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Giants' outfit. Of course, did we have one last contender. The last one. G Giant, move out of the freaking way. Your time is over. Oh. Oof. Rip. Rip, Giant. Let's, let's get his body out of the way. Oh, Giant. I'm sorry you had to go like this, bud. Lastly, we got Hatto. Now, Hatto has been uh, in our community for a while now. Showed up to almost every public lobby we've done. And Hatto, as the last person in this fashion show, extremely happy to see what you're wearing. Let's start off up top. We got a black hat with the red act, like the red ribbon, looking super clean. Then we got a primary vest of red as well, looking clean. We also have a white undershirt, black pinstripe pants with red and black boots with the gun belt to match and the gloves. Brothers and sisters, to wrap up this fashion show and outfit showcase, I could not have asked for a better dressed last person. With the black shotgun as well, Hado has came through to make sure that this fashion show ends off in a bang. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this fashion show, let me know in the comment section, who do you think took this fashion show by storm. You know, I have my opinions. I'm not gonna let you guys know in the video, but in the comment section, I'll let you know my thoughts. Which one I think won. You guys do the same. And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button as this is my outfit. I'll tell you what, my outfit is the most expensive outfit. Uh, this outfit cost me like real life money, $23. So if you enjoy my videos, show that love by dropping a like, share it with your friends. And of course, check out my other uploads I uploaded today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, later today, with a brand new video. Later guys. <laughs>